change the drive belt and service this snowblower out. Take this cover off, this belt cover. Start with that. Two bolts, one on each side. The bolts don't come out, they just hang there. So you can pull that cover off. Now we'll take this cover off here. I think we got to remove this clip. So we've got to take this rod out, I believe. <clears throat> there we go. Just there, just lift so. Pulls out. Now I think we gotta remove this. This is called a belt finger hardware. So I think we gotta take that off. Size is off. Bench. Oh, of course. This is the first time I've had to change this dry belt since I've owned this blower. No! Well, that's not good. I just dropped the bolt down in there. And I don't see it. <laughs> oh, my land. Well get it when we take it apart I guess these are pretty stinking loose oh. Now we're going to take this pin out from this discharge chute right here.
I'm gonna put that back in so we don't lose it. I think I'll take this, this cable's gotta come out now. I just stuck that wheelbarrow there because when I take the frame bolts out, that's, this whole thing is going to split apart. So that's just going to be support for the back end just to rest on. I think there's two on each side. Get our bolt. There's our washer. Just like to keep everything together for putting it back. Shove this all the way up to full throttle. One more thing in there, I can't quite see. There we go. So yeah, it's hard to see in there, but once you pull this pulley forward a little bit, it allows just enough room for that dry belt to pull out the back side. As you can see, this one's pretty much had it. Pretty rough shape. That's where most of the debris is coming from. There's the number. Absolutely no room to get your hand in there. There we go. Got it.
that does not look like the same size. Not even close. No, there's no way in hell that's the right size. All right, so I'm pretty sure I got the right belt this time. There's the number. That's better. Two bolts back on each side. I don't want to put them too tight. They got lock washers on them anyway. Snug them up. Don't want to snap them off inside the part of that engine.
little snug up our tensioner. Now this is the tensioner for the drive belt as your belt wears you snug this up. Good right there. We're gonna install our last piece for this drive belt assembly. You know what? I gotta take that cover back off. Put that on too soon. Now we can put our cover on. Now I've already changed the oil a while back. As you can see the oil is still really clean. It's up past the just up to the second hole where it's supposed to be so I'm not going to bother changing that but I'll show you how I did change the oil in case you're wondering so this rod right here this piece here you just get an adjustable or the proper wrench to fit on that and you put another wrench in these grooves right here to hold this because when you spin this loose you don't want to spin this whole rod or the oil will leak out of the engine back in here and make a mess so you just Loosen this off by holding this with another wrench. Take this completely off and then your oil will run out this tube and into your jar. And when it's done, uh, when your oil's done running out, put this all back together and you can get a funnel and you take this cap off here and that's how you fill your engine. Or you can just fill it through this dipstick tube as well. Just make sure you're up to the second hole right there. As far as grease, you have a grease fitting back here inside the wheel. And then you have one on each side on your auger. And people correct me if I'm wrong, but for this style blower, I believe that's it for grease fittings. One on each side of the auger, and one back inside the wheel. There is none on this side. It would be if you're standing behind the blower, the left side. There's only a grease fitting on the right side. I would say that's for your gearbox inside, your chain. It hasn't been started since last winter.
Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. You over here spying on me the whole time, would you? Would you? You were spying.